Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's video we're going to be testing out Klein with the latest Anthropic model, Claude Sonnet 3.7. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to extensions and there should be a little button here that says uh, update or restart extensions, right? This is Visual Studio Code. That will update your Klein. Once you've done that, hopefully when we go on settings here and go to Anthropic and there we go, it's here. 3.7 Sonnet, perfect. So we'll set 3.7 Sonnet and we'll press done here. And I'm very, very curious how this model performs. Now the prompt that we're gonna be using is my prompt to create a service-based website. Uh, I believe it's this prompt here, but it might be the other one. And effectively what this does is it creates a service-based service website. Uses Next.js, it uses a very specific version of Next.js, etc., etc. Um, and yeah, let, let, let's just kind of run through this process. So the first thing I always like to do is I like to create my own um, Next.js project. So I'm just going to quickly say to, I'll just say to ChatGPT, uh, give me a command to make a Next.js project. And then in, I, I like to specifically use Next.js 14.2.3. But this might change um, because I don't know when the latest uh, Sonnet model has a cutoff, um, but I might actually change to uh, something else. So let's see. So I can't see anything in the blog post saying that they've changed this. So it's most likely April 2024, just like uh, Sonnet 3.5. I've got no evidence of that. I don't actually know um, when it's trained up to. However, generally speaking, I like to use 14.2.23 uh, because it's within the training of Claude, right? So we'll call this Rolls Royce website, and we'll create the application first. And we'll say enter a few times, right? And then once that's done, we can go to the Explorer. We should let this finish quickly. Okay, so that's now done. So we'll open folder here. We'll look for R. <laughs> Just ignore the names of my folders, please, guys. Select this folder here. <laughs> Go to client. <clears throat> okay. So the reason I do that, I, I like to make the project first because it sometimes gets stuck. Um, so it, it's actually much better to start by making the project. So we'll go to plan here and then we'll grab this prompt, right? Now, one thing we do have to do before we do this, actually, is we have to add a public folder. I believe it's inside app, but I'm not sure. No, I think it's here, actually. So, I'll create this folder, and then inside that, we'll create images. I think that's how it works, yeah. And then we'll just add some images. So, we'll just go to unsplash, right? And we'll just write, like, wedding in Italy. And um, we want free ones, um, so, I mean, yeah, sure, is this free? Download for free, yep. Oh, this is in L'Aquila, that's interesting. Oh no, L'Aquila, that's a different place actually. Okay, so we've downloaded that file, right, we can just drag this over like that, into here. And then I would actually recommend renaming this to like, um, wedding, uh, photo in abandoned abandoned car park, right? The reason that we do that is just because then the LLM or Klein can read that. And then we'll go to Rolls Royce Wikipedia. And because it's Wikipedia, these images, we're, we're allowed to use these images as well, right? So we'll save this as uh, Rolls Royce logo.svg. Same thing, drag and drop into here. Now I would do this for a lot more things, right? I would do this for literally, like, um, I would do this for weddings, birthday parties, etc. Right? Uh, I'm, I don't really have time to do this right now, so I'll kind of just leave it here. So this is Rolls Royce logo. Um, what are these called? Initials. Dot PNG. You know, and then I would go here because they also do birthdays, so that this service, right, so birthday party in Italy. Download a few more images, etc. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna do all this now, but keep downloading things, keep getting more images, right? 
And then once you've got all of the images that you want, that's when we can actually start this project. So I'm very curious to see how this performs compared to the previous model. So I'll just put this here and I'll just press enter. And what this will do is it will plan, right? Because it's on the plan uh, section. So it's going to read everything, see you know what's happening, etc. See what the setup is. Um, that's actually good. Okay, so actually this is really smart. It, it's actually saying, I see that, um, could you please provide the contact details for the website? This information is needed for the contact page and was left empty in your task description. I'll just say for now, put a placeholder. Um, also, please make sure the website is production ready without making it overly complicated. Make sure it's mobile friendly, SEO friendly, and has the hreflang tags properly implemented with permanence, right? So we're still on plan. I'm just uh, letting it do everything, right? It's generating a mermaid diagram. That's pretty fucking cool. Actually, I've never seen that before. Uh, good, 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 good. Wow, this is really, really cool. This is a whole nother level of planning. I've never seen this before. So we'll just press act here and let's get a move on and let's see how this does. So far, so good, for sure. Like this is a much, much better plan than I've previously seen on uh, on on uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5. This is a much better plan, much more in depth plan. And I'm hoping that this is actually going to um, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to create everything, uh, and it's going to work, and it's just, it, it, it's going to be a lot better. If this is the case, now that you can one-shot a website like this, um, using Klein, this is going to be absolutely crazy. Just so you know, guys, I do have auto-approve on. You just press this little button here where it says auto-approve, um, and, you know, highlight, uh, sorry, tick these ones, tick that one, tick that one, and then put it on whatever max requests you want. I doubt it's going to take 500. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if it takes 500, but I just like to put it on a high number just because, you know, if I want to go out now, I actually have to give a lift to my fiance uh, to Naples. Uh, I'm currently in Italy, hence the terrible quality uh, of the microphone. Um, but I can now do that. Like, I could literally go out now. If I wanted to, I could start another project, right? I could do file, new window, go to Klein, start making something completely different. Okay, so this is where things start to get exciting. When you when you have the capability to do two things, three things, ten things, fifty things at once, or to do things while you're sleeping, that is when you really, really start to 10x, 20x your capabilities, right? Let's just quickly go through this problem while it's doing that, just in case people are uh, curious. So you're inside a new Next.js project, okay? You'll have to CD into this directory to do things, so let's just make sure it's actually doing that quickly. It looks like these are in the right place. Yeah, they're in the right place. Okay, good. Uh, I'm on Windows PowerShell, so don't use and and symbols. I want to create a Next.js project, statically generated. You are already inside a fresh Next.js project. There are Im images inside a folder called slash public slash images. It is a service-based website for a company that offers these services. So the idea here is this is a universal prompt, right? That you can change any of this information for what you are trying to make. By the way, yes, you can find this prompt completely for free with no strings attached in the description of this video. And also just a note, if you want one of these websites created for you, feel free to click the, this link here, work with us. Uh, we'll build backlinks, we'll create the entire website and we'll uh, grow the website for you. So um, then the website should be in languages and the website should be properly split with href language tags before the main slug of the URL, for example, example.com slash fr slash example slash example. Use images in an intelligent way to build a modern website with good coloring schemes and fonts and other elements which I will leave up to your discretion to plan and then implement a good intelligent color and font and feel to it. Bit of a weird sentence, but I sometimes find prompting like this actually works a little bit better. Use service information to understand spe specifics of the business. For languages, ensure to implement the SEO and keywords, etc. for both languages and not just one of the languages. Also, URL slugs must be translated. The company is offering these services in locations, right? If I scroll down to locations, you can see these are all of the locations that my old boss, um, who owns iSuit and Two Men, asked me to include. Um, the idea is to generate all possible pages combining both 
um, service with locations to create location-based SEO services. For service plus location pages, try your best to create a modular. You can use SVG icons to make this work. Set up with at least five to seven different vertical unique blocks um, that add to the overall value of the page. This is important because these are the pages we are truly trying to rank. And if they don't have good unique information on them, they won't rank. Ensure they are as varied as possible by using templates. Ensure the pages are split by service, so no two service landing pages look the same, even if the service plus location page do look the same. Make sure the colors are contrasting and not white on black or black on black at any point. The content of these pages should be landing pages of the service itself, created from a template that you have built, using the images and the other information you know or can interpret from what you've been given. Have a good looking contact page with the contact details on it, right? So if I scroll down to contact details, you can put like the phone number that you want to use here. Right, this is a universal prompt, you just have to change things up a little bit. Ensure to create a modern homepage for the website using the images and information about services to make it modular, mobile friendly. It must not scroll horizontally on mobile homepage. And then we just got service information, service information, locations. And then just at the bottom here, we have a few things um, to kind of point it in the right direction, right? But overall, what this does is it creates a very, very good uh, project. So we'll just let this finish now and yeah. Okay, so just for you non-coders out there, um, I haven't actually coded anything. I'm not coding anything. Okay, I've literally just given it the prompt. I've put it on auto approve and I'm just sat here waiting for it to finish. Okay, I want people to understand that because although it does look complicated and it does look like I'm coding, I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just letting Klein build this entire project for me. Okay, so it says that the website is done. Let's have a look here. Okay, guys, um, we're cooked. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. I can't believe how good this is. The, the, the quality is amazing. I couldn't have made this. I couldn't have made this better on WordPress in, you know, twelve hours or whatever. It is done. It's got. Okay, so some of the, some things are four o fouring. That is kind of normal. Let's see how the Italian version does that is also 404ing it seems so there are still a few issues here as you can see but i mean the, the quality is is crazy i don't think i've seen anything that is this good made by ai in such a short amount of time right and the cost was two dollars twenty which <laughs> Which is insane. Now, there are some problems here. Obviously, this is 404ing. You know, there are a few 404 problems. But, I mean, in general, you can just see... Okay, so that's also 404ing for some reason. But in general, you can see just how good this actually is, right? So if you're wondering to fix the 404s, right, because this is in the middle of um, processing, right? If I do Control-C here inside the terminal, if it'll let me if my computer doesn't freeze, right, there we go. What it'll then do is it will feed this terminal output to um, Claude, right, and it will see, oh, that look, it says, I see that the website is running, but there are some 404 errors for certain pages. Let's check the browser to see how the website looks, right? So there are some 404 errors that I would like it to fix. Um, so what it should now do is, um, yeah, basically fix those errors. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. This is the highest quality AI-generated website I've ever seen, which means that 3.7 is definitely following the prompt a lot better, right? And it's also using its kind of own brain, its own ability to create this entire project. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. This is definitely a huge improvement. Claude 3.7 with Klein is going to be the next, the newest best in slot. AI coding companion. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.